Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now... I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. That lying prick. He was about to kill everyone who would even think about standing up to him. Now, now he's playing the victim. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. A few of us had a tart on that, actually. Bags, show him. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio... I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? Just think, with DedSec backing her up, feeding her intel, she could really stick it to those bastards. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. But a woman with a million enemies, she's quite easy to find. I hope no one's beat us to her.
Jesus. Sly, that's what you get for trying to do some good in the sea. Someone's gonna pay for this. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. You're right about that, Bagley. Best revenge is to find the truth. I'll have a look about. What's with all the graffiti? Jumping the shark a bit, wouldn't you say? Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. No reason for the Kellys to advertise murder, though. Everyone knows it's their speciality. Something's off. Uh, a lot of traffic here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Let me guess. They supply Albion. They got Claire's gear, but missed the tablet. Devil's in the details. Scan that bagly. Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... You security, drop your weapon! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Do no, take that wall. Then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This is the dirt we need to bury the fucker. Cass is gonna answer for all the blood in his fucking hands, including Claire's and the whistleblowers. The Albion Triggerman mentioned Carousel. That would be Carousel Plaza, Albion's propaganda library. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. They're the ones who need the warning. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we?
you found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. sort out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? What? They're in Hotel Albion, so it's up to me, right? Fine. Coming in. I've always hated this place. was Albion's automated propaganda hub you've thrown a spanner into. Ostensibly for broadcasting safety notifications to nearby optics, really all it does is bombard them with propaganda. Or rather, it did. You found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
think you're tough, huh? Yeah. Well, I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool! This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <laughs> they do. I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure. Has a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control his city. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable, it cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then, he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? 
Hey, Mish. Ha-ha. <laughs> Shiny face again, are you? Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers! Yeah. Albion's still pissing about, aren't they? 